I've had terrible bosses, I've been bullied. They're just places of great drama. You know, it's a human theatre. Isabel Berwick, journalist, author, and host of the Financial Times Working It podcast. She's here to show you how to navigate your career and thrive at work. Gender pay gap, does it exist? Uh, yes, the world is getting ruder. Do you we'll think all... that? Yes, I think it is. Mm. And actually, workplaces are getting angrier. Does this boss trust their team? People can smell bullshit a mile away. We often cover up uncomfortable things as humans and leaders are no different. New Year's resolutions, should I be staying, should I be going, how do I get promoted? What advice would you give employees to think about in the new year? Okay, number one is... Hello my fellow leaders, welcome back to Anatomy of a Leader with me, Maria Borostovsky. In a shocking turn of events, we've hit 100,000 downloads. I'm starting to think that you all actually like us. But seriously, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you so much. As I'm in the lab preparing season seven, get ready for a trip down memory lane. For the next few weeks, we're running the highlights of some of my favorite episodes. So hit that subscribe or follow button, whatever platform you're tuning in from. Your support means absolutely everything. And we literally couldn't be here without you. The world is getting ruder. Do you think that? Yes, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And actually workplaces are getting angrier. Gallup did some research this year and it showed that workers are angrier than they've ever been, particularly in the UK, actually, more than in the rest of Europe. Why is that? A lot of it is external. You might be struggling with the cost of living. You might have mental health or family problems. So all of those are coming with you to work. And so when something frustrates you at work, it's almost like a last straw. A lot of people are disengaged at work. They don't love their work. There are shockingly high figures for disengagement. and. If you're bored and disengaged, anger is a very easy emotion to bubble up. Gender pay gap. Does it exist? Uh, yes, it does exist. And it's still, it's being reported again now after a hiatus in the pandemic. There are caveats in that it's only larger companies that have to report it. But I think what happened at the BBC with Carrie Gracie, you know, raised a lot of issues around pay gap in a very public organization in all respects but I think that's been mirrored in a lot of other places I probably wouldn't focus on the pay gap I'd focus on transparency measures full pay transparency is for very few companies and it has pros and cons why is it that we are so secret about our salaries in a corporate employer who's that benefiting it's benefiting the bosses charisma is a really difficult word people get so bamboozled by charismatic men, I'm going to say. And often men get promoted because they're charismatic. There's been a lot of research on how mediocre people can be. There's a researcher called Thomas Chamorro Prezunik in the States who wrote a book called Why, Why Do So Many Mediocre Men Get Promoted at Work? And the answer is because they're charismatic and they carry people with them. But charisma I find very dangerous. It can be very exciting and people love a charismatic leader. Mm -hmm. But with the best will in the world, most of us are not super charismatic and it can mask a lot of terrible things. I've got it in my family. I've had two adult diagnoses of ADHD and it explains so much about the past. I'm neurotypical, I'm sure, but my husband isn't. And it explains everything about his career, our marriage. And I'm so pleased that many more children are getting diagnosed but I think it will radically transform our workplaces in a good way because it's the beginning of a way of understanding people not just neurodivergent people but everyone neurotypical people too in a completely different way we're looking at how does this person's brain process stuff how do they react with others and it takes us to a very different place I think and a good place why is somebody else's success your failure that's where you need to start asking questions, especially when you see your colleagues being treated in that way. Maybe you haven't experienced it yourself like I did. If this is happening to my colleague, can that also happen to me? Yes, that very old fashioned way of um, taking people leaving as a betrayal. I've, I haven't experienced it myself, but I've seen a colleague once who went to our boss saying that she had an idea to relocate or move somewhere else. And the way that the boss responded was, I can't believe you're leaving. 
And she wasn't even saying that at the time. And I've seen how bosses treat those who leave as if you're not loyal anymore or you're not a good person. And they're talking about bringing all of yourself to work, right? What's going From on there? From a negative there? perspective in terms of talking about the younger employees, Generation Z, that they are more of job hoppers. Do you think they're less tolerant of bad bosses? Yeah. What are they less tolerant of? Everything bad in workplaces. A lot of older managers get quite exasperated with their Gen Z employees. Maybe we should flip that around and say, why did we put up with this stuff for so long? Maybe we can learn from them. And um, so reverse mentoring is becoming a big thing where younger staff mentor older executives. Reverse mentoring is often done where the younger partner is a person of color or someone from a minority background and your top executives are white men in a lot of traditional companies. So they're bringing a very different perspective and, ex and experience. If you like watching inspiring stories of leaders from all walks of life and would like to support our show, the best thing you can do is to subscribe. I'll see you.